Welcome to this short presentation, which is one of a series of videos which are available about Retractor. In this video, I'm going to talk about Retractor inspections, who carries them out, what's involved, and how you can prepare for an inspection. So who carries out the Retractor inspections? Independent inspection and certification of Retractor standards are at the heart of Retractor and, it have, and ensure robust compliance with our standards. We license commercial private certification bodies who are accredited by UCAS, the United Kingdom Accreditation Service, to inspect and certify the Retractor standards. This means that there is a choice for the farmer um, as to which certification body he contracts and asks to do his inspection and there may be a difference in price but importantly for both uh, farmers uh, food businesses and red tractor they all have to follow the same rules so red tractor sets out rules and procedures which must they, they must all follow and that covers areas like how they deal with applications and renewals very importantly, the assessor qualifications and training, how they deal with non-conformances. And we closely monitor all our certification bodies and their assessors to ensure that they are consistent. So who is it that works for Retractor? There are five private commercial certification bodies that are listed on the screen in front of you. Three of them, SAI Global, NSF and Acura operate across the United Kingdom was QWFC operate in Wales and NIFCC in Northern Ireland. At the back of each Red Tractor Standards Manual is a grid identifying which certification bodies can audit and certify each individual set of standards. How does it work? Red Tractor inspections and certification is very similar to getting your car MOT tested. As you know, Retractor sets the assurance standards and we license commercial certification bodies to do the inspections. The farmer then chooses which certification body he wishes to work with, and it doesn't matter which, the inspection will be identical regardless. Once the inspection has taken place, if the farmer fails to meet the Retractor standards, the assessor will tell the farmer what has failed and the farmer needs to arrange for it to be put right. Only when the farm meets all of the standards and passes does the certification body notify Retractor for their central database and issue an assurance certificate to the farmer. The farmer is now assured and can sell livestock and products as assured. Thereafter, the farmer is subject to routine inspections, which will be annual for crops, fresh produce, pigs and poultry, and will be every 18 months for beef and lamb and dairy. In addition, farmers can also be subject to random spot checks to validate and check that they are continuing to adhere to the standards. These spot checks might be at short notice or completely unannounced, depending on the intelligence and the risk rating of the farm. If during these random inspections, not major non-conformances are found, then the farmer can be suspended immediately from the scheme and can no longer sell anything as Red Tractor Assured while they're suspended. And in major circumstances, certificates be, can be completely withdrawn where there is a severe disregard for the standards and the potential to bring the scheme into disrepute. These sanctions and spot checks and the procedures and management that underpin the Red Tractor scheme are vital to ensure the integrity and credibility of what Red Tractor does. So how do you go about preparing for an assessment? The first thing is to read through the standards, the manuals of which are available on our website. It provides all of the detail of what the assessor will be looking for and what the requirements are of the scheme. We then on our website have a whole host of information and help and support for farmers. So that is available at assurance.retractor.org.uk forward slash tools and library. We have self-assessment checklists for each of the sectors. So before the assessment takes place, we strongly recommend that you download the checklist and double check that actually you have got all the information and are meeting the standards. For those people that are concerned about the records that are required, we also provide online on our website record templates 
for every single record that is required. So if you don't have one, you can go to our website, download one, and then create your own relevant um, record for your farm. And then finally, it is worth looking on our website to see what the common non-conformances are where other farmers have um, received non-conformances. And in these documents, we also give you tips for how you can ensure that you don't get a non-conformance. So that's covered who does the inspections, what's involved in the inspection and how to prepare for an inspection. For more information about Red Tractor, please visit our website. There are more short presentations available online at redtractor.org.uk forward slash videos. And you can follow us on social media, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.